fastball from 24 Willie Mays Plaza and stunning Oracle Park in San Francisco. We've got an NL Western Division showdown tonight between the San Diego Padres and the San Francisco Giants. It's going to be a premier pitching matchup. Two of the league's hardest throwers go head-to-head -head next. Jason Schmidt is on the mound for the Giants in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, when you look up the word dependability in the dictionary, that's what this guy, you'll find a picture of this guy. Career ERA just under 3.5, and that's saying quite a lot in the high-scoring games that we see in baseball going on right now. Real solid pitcher, controls the running game, controls Leading the strike the zone, and Diego. more importantly, he knows the how right to get Buford. deep into the 6th, 7th, and 8th inning. Solid hey, pitcher, and he'll be fun to watch in this one here today. And we're hey. underway as the first pitch is a check swing, but a called strike, 0-1. First pitch, 7 o'clock. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A ball and a strike. strike. 53 degrees here at game time as it's cooled off considerably since batting practice this afternoon. And he lays off for a ball, 2-1. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. A chance now to give you a look at the Padres' starting lineup. Mark, second. what's your take on the him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, Matty, we know this is a pitcher's park. The numbers bear it out. Look for the managers to play a part in this one. Hopefully the guys listened in the hitters meeting. They're going to stay up the middle, big part of the yard. But when they get on, look for some wheels in motion, some execution, trying to manufacture some runs. I think that's how this lineup will play it out. First pitch of the at bat on its way. No balls in one strike. Here's the 0-1. And it's 1-1. One and one. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Matthew Ross. Well, d Row, you better be ready to swing. With Matt Ross behind the dish, big zone. Yeah, you know coming into this one, you better pull the trigger. If something's close, Matt Ross is going to punch your ticket. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Hard hit ball to second, but right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. Batting third, the center fielder, Brian Giles. So coming to the plate, Brian Giles, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch on its way. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Just underway here in San Francisco. A shot down the first baseline, but a foul ball, 1-1. One and one. The 1-1 one, one. is a nope. ball down and away. Fouled away. The 2-2. Two, two. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Ready with another 2-2. Two, two. 
and it's fouled away. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Padres down in order. Padres nothing, Giants coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Jake Peavy will be the man on the mound for the Friars. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, when you look up the word dependability in the dictionary, that's what this guy, you'll find a picture of this guy. Career ERA just under 3.5, and that's saying quite a lot in the high-scoring games that we see in baseball going on right now. Real solid pitcher, controls the running game, controls the, the strike giant. zone, and more importantly, he base knows base. how to get deep Ray. into the 6th, 7th, and 8th inning. Hurrah. Solid pitcher, and he'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Here's the first pitch to him. And that misses inside 1-0. and oh. The 1-0 -oh home is laid Aye. off, but in there for strike one. Look out, 1-1. One one. And he All misses 2-1. And he missed again, high and away this time, three and one. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game, so we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. And the three one. And he fouls this one off. Swing and a high chopper over to the right side. Going to be a tough oh. play. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice that play for the out. And That's with that, he'll stop. look at Bruce Bochy's yeah, lineup man. card for the Giants. Bruce. What's the key for a home victory tonight, d -Row? Well, I was fortunate to play two years in this ballpark and call it my home. And one thing I'll tell you is, as a right-handed hitter, get going opposite field into the bay out of your head because it's not happening you have to keep the line drive approach and this park plays two different ways day game the ball will fly a little bit to left night game stay on the attack stay big part of the field up the middle the other way and you'll have success first pitch has him dancing to avoid it it's ball one And this one's down the middle, a ball and a strike. Well, that's a tough pitch to take right there, right down the middle. But I think that happens when you're facing a good pitcher like this guy. The last thing you're expecting is one right down the pipe. And unfortunately, he let that one go. And he'd like to have that pitch back to take a good swing at that one. Ball. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Lined is short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. Batting third, the left fielder, Barry Vaughn. Ready now, Barry Bonds. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Not one close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Now the 1-0 is looked at for the first strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. On the screws to shortstop, but caught to retire the side. Giants down in order. Still no score. Now a 
at the plate. Phil Nevin, he'll get to take his first Sam cuts Diego. here. The third baseman, Phil Nevin. First delivery to him on the way. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. Well, fans of good pitching are in for a treat today. What can we expect from today's matchup, guys? I know everyone loves the long ball, Matty, but this is why I pay the price of a ticket right here. Two of the game's best, two of the hardest throwers competing at the top of their game. Dan, you have to love this stuff. You know, D-Row, we thought coming into this one it was going to be a low-scoring affair. Both of these pitchers look like they're locked in early, and runs are going to be really difficult to come by. They both look like they're on point so far. The 1-2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Time for a look at the San Francisco Giants on defense. And guys, the that thing I good. want you to take a look at today is in today's game, the new age, everyone wants to move around. This manager does not like to shift a lot. Maybe a step to your right or left, but there's a lot of trust that the pitchers are going to execute. So let's see how it works out for them in this one. Striding into the box, Ryan Klesko. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. And this That's is ball. low, ball one. Ball and he misses low with it, 2-0. and oh. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. That's a 2-0 -oh count, and both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good eye. 3-0 three and three. Oh now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. And that oh, misses as well. Thanks, ball thanks. four, so it's a four-pitch walk here. And with the bases empty and three balls, I think they were that probably just it. saying, hey, we're the not going to compound our mistakes Number here. Three. Better issue a free pass and give him something to drive. Digging in, green. First delivery to him on the way. Count one and Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Hey. Here's a changeup that's right there, one and one. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Line toward the alley in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. A lot of traffic hitting a base pass first and second with one that out. I know you're looking for a double play baseman. ball, Dan. No question yeah. about it. I think one of the things you like so to do on the pitch is try to jump on him early before he gets settled in. So far, so good. First and second. Looks like a big inning could be brewing. Standing in now, Jeff Cirillo. This will take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. No score here as we play inning number two. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Two and zero count and the pitch, swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. He wasn't fooling anybody with that fastball. He barreled it up nice right there. He's just got to find a way to keep it fair. Now the double steal is on here. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Throw down to third is thrown away right down the left field line, and the run will score as the Padres are on the board first. It's one to nothing. So they'll slap an error on the catcher there, and you can tell he's not happy back there. Oh. 
Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Right got it to bend a lot, it's and by the time it got there, Romo. it had fallen completely Earth out of the zone. Dead. Not much you can do with that pitch. In now, Ramon Hernandez, as he'll fall behind here as he goes after a fastball that might have been out of the zone at strike one. Trying to cash in here in his first at-bat with a runner at third and two gone. Comes set, the 0-1. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Man, 35 pitches with only two outs in the second inning? Ideally, you'd like to have 30 or less after two innings, so he's got some catching up to do. Green on third with two out. I always say Hitton's a process of elimination at the plate. I think he could go ahead and eliminate changeup. Two in a row back to back. I don't think there'll be a third. One and two, here it is. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Friars forced to settle for just the one. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Padres lead it one to nothing. Leading off the inning, J.D. Snow as they well, look to get something going here and the even this baseman, game up. J.D. Snow. First pitch on its way. Hey! Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. And boy, hey, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. Two things pitchers really love, called strike threes and jamming hitters. How about that? Talk about that jam right there. That's about as good as it gets. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. So here's how the San Diego Batty. Padres are positioned yep. defensively. You want to talk about shutting a running game down? The guy behind the dish has an absolute cannon. I mean, you will not see guys get but two-step lead off first base today. At the plate, Edgardo Alfonso. Here comes the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. Padres an early 1-0 lead here in the second. A ball and a strike now. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. <laughs> to two balls and two strikes now. So, he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now, I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. Set to deal on two and two. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. I really liked it. He gave up nibbling out of the zone trying to get him to that chase. Exists. That wasn't working, so he just reached back and AJ. fired a good old First country hardball fastball right by him. No better feeling in the world when you're a pitcher than throwing a fastball right by a guy. 
Into the box, A.J. Pierzynski, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Two out, nobody on. Here's another one, two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back in San Francisco following this. Digging in now for San Diego, Jake Peavy. The, the pitcher. Jake TV. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. First yep, pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. That's Easy ball. take there as the off speed pitch misses well inside. It's great to be able to face a pitcher to lead off the inning and get yourself a quick out. But now you find yourself down 2 0. And he's licking his chops for a fastball. 2 0 pitch on the way. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Durham will stay with it as he backs up and puts the it right away. Field. One Number gone. 16. Jay Payton. Digging in to try it again. Jay Payton. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and a borderline call, Matty. I don't know. I got to feel like he's got to build a rapport with this umpire, this AB. See how far he'll go in or out. He can't allow himself to go down looking again. The 1-0 is taken. Strike one. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Yes, it will. He's got himself a one-out single. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, d -Row. You make a really the good pitch, and yet this guy's so be. big and so strong, he's Four. able to muscle Four. it into right, right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. Stepping in now, Mark Loretta, as he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. The 1-1. One, one. And there he goes towards second. That's a strike. The throw down is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. That's a swipe of the bag. And this catcher, he throws really well, too. So that's not easy. Good job there by the base runner. Here's the one and two delivery. Ball, and nice. it's two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Hit out towards second. To his right, Durham. And there are two away now. 
the center. And this is not an 24. easy play when you have to Ryan. range to your right. He Kyle. really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Standing in now, Brian Giles, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He set the 0-1. One and one. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at one and one. The set and the 1-1. One, one. Nope. Can't okay. catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. Peyton at third with two away. Three and one. He's got himself into a little bit of trouble out here. Middle of the order up in a run scoring situation, and now he might have to challenge him. Going to have to make some good pitches here. Out of the stretch, the 3 1 home. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Up next for the Padres, the third baseman. And it'll be the cleanup spot for the Padres. Phil Nevin. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Slap hard the opposite way. Tucker is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Padres leave a pair, but they're up one to nothing. Stepping up to the plate, Marcus Grissom. He starts off the Leading inning up. against a Four guy who nine. struck out the side last the inning. Fielder. How do they get to him here? Market. I'm not sure, Matt, that they want Grissom. to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. He looks really strong here early in this game. And that fastball is a good example. Put that thing in a great spot and right where he wanted it. The wind up and the 0-1. Right there and it's quickly 0-2 now. Hey, as a hitter right here, you can't be leaning out over. I know those first two pitchers were in the outer half. But nothing saying he can't ride a fastball in right here. Here it comes on nothing and two. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. That's popped up. Green into shallow center. He's there and records the first down. Batting eight, the right fielder, Michael Tucker. Into the box now, Michael Tucker. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Nope. Too low, 1-0. Oh. Nope, 1-0. Oh. Giants are still searching for their first hit of the ball game. One out pitch is a circle change swung on and missed one and one. Classic case right there of an off speed pitch and that hitter's eyes lit up and that front shoulder went flying. He's got to find a way to keep that thing tucked and play with the big part of the field. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. little guessing game going on right now being late on that fastball after the change he had to be sitting off speed right there the 2-2 two -two. Hmm, got caught lunging there as this one's fouled away here's another 2-2 two -two. oh and this is swung on and missed four strikeouts already and that's out number two 
batting ninth. So the pitcher. here now is the pitcher, Jason, Jason Schmidt, two away Schmidt. in the inning. And, Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that's right there, and we're even at one. A ball and two strikes to the Giants pitcher. Hit the other way out toward right field. Peyton giving chase. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. More from Oracle Park right after this. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Andy Green during the commercial break about the Padres offense. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up. And he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right, Heidi, thank you. Digging in, Ryan Klesko. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Ryan, let's go. First delivery to him on the way. Well, that Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Ball and two. he misses again, 2-0. Two oh. They two obviously oh. circled him before the game that they were not going to let him beat them. Walked him this first time up, and now they're nibbling again. And that fastball's taken, but catches the outer third. Yeah, right there, it's tough to be able to dive out over the plate. I know it's a pitch people think you can get to, but after you're pounded in twice, that ball looks like a foot outside. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Up with it, Pierzynski. The throw to first is in time, one down. Now batting, number three. Digging in for his second at bat, Green. A base hit in his first trip. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. One run, two hits, no errors in the ball game for the Padres. High in the air out to center field. Grissom is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Now batting, the first baseman, Jeff Cirillo. Now at the plate, Jeff Cirillo. First pitch of the at bat. Ball. Low for ball one. Ball one, no strike. Fouled off. One run, two hits, no errors in the ball game for the Padres. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two.
in there, two and two. Popped up. Cruz over to his left. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Three up, three down for San Diego, but they're on top, one to nothing. Digging in the switch hitter, Ray Durham, back to the top of the Leading lineup off. as well, they're still John. looking for their first base the runner in this baseman. one. No doubt about Ray. that, Matt. They've yet to figure Durham. this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. First offering on its way. This is on the ground over to first. To his right, Cirillo, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Well now executed two seamer on the outside corner Devin. that time, and, and that's Rude. what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Coming to the plate now, Devin Cruz. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. One out, nobody on. Not oh, close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. One and two now as that one's fouled off. The one two. And that misses two and two. Swing and a liner. Foul. The two two one more time. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Line towards center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. The left fielder, number 25, Barry Vaughn. Now in the box, Barry Bonds. First pitch coming, here it is. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat, nothing and one. This guy has been throwing the ball so well, and that's exactly why. He has such a feel for that secondary pitch. He can flip it over whenever he wants and get back in the count. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. In there at the knees, 0-2 now. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Giants are down 1-2-3. They're on the short end of a 1-0 score. So digging in now, Ramon Hernandez comes Diego. into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ramon Hernandez. First pitch on its way. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. So earlier in the broadcast, we mentioned that we might be seeing a pitcher's duel today, and these two guys have certainly delivered on that promise. Yeah, Matty, executing a game plan to a T. Both guys with big power arms, establishing the fastball, and then using their off speed to get these guys and keep them honest. You know what, Dero, in the day and age where we're seeing a lot of high-scoring games, it's kind of refreshing to see two pitchers on point like they are in this one. Run's going to be at a premium. Both these guys look super locked in. 
swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way the out of the zone. One out. Four. That was a good job Great. tying him up inside on that did. strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's please. the kind of pitch you can Pinch get him to offer operate. at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does Darren. make contact. Long. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ball. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. No contact there, and it's one and two. I mean, you look in the dugout right now, you see steam coming out of the hitting coach's ears. Somebody has to stay back and find a way to get a knock. To two, two balls. balls and two, two strikes strike. now. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. That's back-to-back -back punch outs, and he's really starting to rack them up now, guys. I've got eight strikeouts in my scoreboard for him now, so he's got eight good there. stuff. In now, Jay Payton. Strike one to start the at-bat. A hit and two tries for him so far. The 0-1 delivery. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. That's it to short. Does he have another 1-2-3 inning? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now as the side is retired. Padres down in order, but nothing. And welcome back to San Francisco as we send it down to Heidi. Thanks, Matt. Between innings, I was able to discuss the current state of the Giants lineup with manager Bruce Bochy. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on Your shrinking the zone lead. and forcing now the opposing pitching the to throw more strikes. Number Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Eddie, Eddie Oropesa Oro takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Leading off the inning, J.D. Snow. Leading and off they'll need the him to Giants. get something going here. The first baseman, J.D. Snow. First delivery to him on the way. And One the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The 1-0 home is looked at for ball number two. Snow can be considered a bit of a one-dimensional hitter, I guess, in terms of making contact. He tends to see the ball out of right-handed pitcher's hands well, but doesn't seem to pick up the left-handers at the same level. Into the corner and slicing foul. The 2-1 home. Fouled away. Down he hammers it to deep right field. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. 
Good the contact to start out the 13. inning. Thought he might be on base Ed with Gardo. some sort of a hit, but All it hung up zone. there too long. Just unlucky that time. Into the box, Edgardo Alfonso, oh, as nice. the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And he falls behind now, 2-0. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Ready with two balls and a strike. Ball fastball three. and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. The three and one pitch takes a strike for a full count now three and two bases are empty one man out. And that is swung on and missed and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. A look at our line score to this point and I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. Stepping in, A.J. Pierzynski. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. On a swing, and he popped him up. Off to the left in foul territory. Nevin is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Wow, that game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. Both hurlers battled, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. And that one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. The Padres took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jake Peavy pitches well enough to get the W. So that just about to Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.